Callie had it all. I started playing basketball when I was in about fifth grade and realized how good I was at it. It was kind of like a natural talent. Callie's a sophomore studying broadcast journalism. She went to college to play basketball with a scholarship. Her future was so, so bright. Six months ago, I told my family that I was a sugar baby. At first, I really didn't think she was serious. She told me about one guy she met who gave her $200 for just having lunch with him. I feel heartbroken, sick to my stomach. I think my family is just completely overreacting to all of this. I'm an attractive young lady, so I'm using what I have to my advantage. If people are willing to pay to spend time with them, plus I get a free meal, I'm gonna do it. I have no idea if she's sleeping with these guys. Do you look like a prostitute? It's not a prostitute. I only had sex with one married man. That's disgusting. If I'm gonna hook up with someone for free, I might as well get money for it. I don't think Callie realizes the danger. She could be raped, she could be killed, she could be kidnapped. Since my sister became a sugar baby, she's a completely different person. Her grades have dropped, she skips a lot of classes. I quit playing college basketball. It was just too demanding. I smoke weed pretty much every day and it just wasn't really worth being on the team anymore. All Callie wants to do is party. A few weeks ago, I got a text from Callie telling me she had done a hit of acid, smoked some weed, did some cocaine. On top of what she did, she drove herself home. We all had no idea where you were or what you were doing. Well, I literally was sitting there crying because I thought that you were dead. It's not my fault that you guys are doing that. I just wish my mom and my sister would stop worrying about me. It's not like I'm addicted or I have a problem because I know when to stop. I totally know my limits. My fear is when she leaves for the night, that will be the last time that I see her. Okay, she was a student, basketball player, uh, and a good one, right? Yeah. She got a scholarship, and she's studying broadcast journalism. Yep. So why this? I mean, was she hurting for money? I think it was easy, it was fast, and it was a lot. She could get what she would make at a gym in a day compared to a week. She's, she's always had a problem with authority, so doing it this way, she could kind of, in her eyes, do it on her terms. Yeah, but you say now she's constantly partying. Yeah. yeah. She skipped her exams um, last week. Yeah. Um, that's big. She's now a C student, right? Yeah. And when she told you this, was she like, uh, uh, hate to say it, but, or was she laughing about it? It was um, kind of a brag, like, all I had to do was have dinner with this man and I got $200 or I just met him for coffee and I got all this cash. Well, you said you don't know what's going on. You don't know what she's really doing with these guys. No, when anytime she's talked to me about it, it's they've met for coffee, dinner, lunch. Right. <laughs> so they're giving her $700 for coffee. Yeah, that's what I'm told. <laughs>